<laughs> you know, I guess um, Mr. Honorable Afenyo Markings must be a very sad man, um, starting from yesterday. I don't think that the speaker has done anything wrong. The reasons mm. he has given are very tenable reasons. We are very close to an election. Mm. Uh, members of parliament are out there campaigning. And I don't think that anyone in his right senses would even ask that. You recall members of parliament who are far away in Bunkurugu Yoyo and all those places to come back to the house for two days and then go back. Just think of the expense. And um, Honorable Afenyo Markings, in his statement, was saying that there were critical government issues to be discussed. Um, we saw a list of all those supposed critical government issues. I don't think there's anyone in there that cannot be dealt with after um, December 7th, when Parliament reconvenes before they all break up and go their various places. So I think that the, um, the speaker did the right thing. Um, and talking about precedent set, it was the same precedent set that the Honorable Afenyo Markens did not see to that led to this other precedent set supposedly being created by the speaker. You mean this could have been averted? It could have been averted. It could have been averted. Oh, so. this, this case should never have gone to the Supreme Court. This case could have been dealt with within the precepts of the Parliament House. Uh, I am very sure that um, on hindsight now, um, Ms. Honorable Afenyo Markings is seeing that he was trying to kill an ant with a sledgehammer. I am of the view that the speaker with all the accolades that my dear Loratu has given him, is in his right set of mind. And therefore, him giving the reasons and asking Ghanaians to bear with him, because these are the reasons why, and he thinks that at this time, it is not feasible to call back parliament. Mm. It's in the right direction. When Honorable Afenyo Markins was going to court, you know, this whole idea of go to court, everything, go to court, as if the court was the only place that could settle issues. You see, when you think that you have power and therefore everyone is going to be dancing to your team, sometimes the, the, when a drama goes off, off key, mm. the dance changes mm -hmm. and you might just be dancing the same dance, not knowing that some beat has been taken off. That's what's happening to Afenyo Markins and his group. They thought that they had everything for them because, after all, go to court. We have friends in the Supreme Court, so we can go there and get our, our case dealt with. It has been dealt with, but at what end? At what expense? No one should be blaming the speaker today for what we have found ourselves in. We really? should put Yes, we should put the, the blame squarely. Urgent government business? N no. No. No, there's no urgent government business. Going to give, um, uh, what do you call it, tax exemptions... To, to, to company. This, it's not, Shadrach, let's, it's uh, not, let's surprise Madam Rodalin of the urgent government business. Perhaps... Uh, yeah, you maybe. Should, maybe you should give me a list of the urgent government business. Let's get the slide I on television. I don't see, of all the things that are there, the only thing that I find that w one could consider is the, um, the, the issue of parliamentary, a budget, a budget coming out for the first quarter of 2025. That was the only thing. But the rest of them can rest. Mm -hmm. They can all rest till after the elections. In any case, this government has less than maybe a month to be in power, um, to hand over and everything. And I don't see the rush to give um, tax exemptions to companies and individuals or whatever. This can be discussed in the next parliament. 